Hey guys, I'm Bill from AV Nation, and I'm joined with Chaz from FSR. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, Bill. Thanks for coming to our booth. Oh, thank you. It's the pleasure. It's all mine, sir. So, um, I have heard that you guys have really delved into, well, you're huddling around the huddle space. That would so, be true. So, That's a good way of putting it. That, that is. So, uh, is there, a, as you say, right behind us, we have, uh, we got ourselves a little back box of death here, so... Uh, Tell this, me about it. this is our new PWB 300 series. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people don't realize that we started the whole business of creating a space behind a display mm -hmm. for storage. You okay. know, the days, as we all know, the days of a AV closet are long gone. So we're looking for innovative places mm -hmm. to hide receivers and amplifiers and other AV oh, devices. Yeah. Um, we originated this family with the PWB100. Mm -hmm. This is our latest iteration. This is the PWB320. And what's unique about it is really the flexibility and usability of the box. Mm -hmm. It's designed with a number of different punch outs more than anybody else has in the industry. You've got knockouts. Yep. You've got our new triple plate system mm -hmm. that gives you the ability of putting either a a conduit into it, yep. a low voltage device, or an AC work box. You give, you're, you're essentially uh, making an electrician's dream here. Absolutely. Yeah. They can use this box in any format that they want. Mm -hmm. And what's nice about the box, it can be mounted in any orientation. Mm -hmm. And if a contractor just wants a hole in the wall, we can do that. If they'd like to dress it up a little, mm -hmm. we have a trim option. Mm -hmm. If they want to dress it up even more, we have a cover option. A nice part about our cover, it features a pin installation system. Oh, I basically on. set it in place, snap, snap on, four snap pins. On. And again, as you say, so easy to put on, so easy to take off. Now, we also have the ability. It's, it's much like the Ronco uh, set it and forget it. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We also give you the capability of having surge suppressed outlets. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of different options with either two outlets or three. Mm -hmm. We also have a mounting system. And what's unique about our mounting system, it features a simple plastic clip system so I can get it in, get it out, set it for whatever depth I want. Mm -hmm. And we also have the capability of putting two single height devices mm -hmm. back to back and get the cover on. Wow. No one else has that capability using mounting shelves. Yeah, that is, that is the one thing. And folks, if you've ever done this or if you've installed these before, putting stuff into the back box, initially folks will look and go and say, oh, this is so easy. And then all of a sudden you start looking and going and saying, okay, where do I have the spot, the placement for the zip ties, or am I going to suddenly be uh, getting like metal sheet screws to attach everything? And it goes from going into this is gr this is oh this is going to be so easy to oh man, but this I can see is going to save a lot of headaches and save a lot of integrators, a lot of time inside the box. And Bill, you mentioned zip ties. We also have these punch outs in the back that wow. give you the capability stick a screwdriver in, mm -hmm. bend it out, and there's where you zip tie devices if you elect to not go with a mounting shelf. Yeah, yeah, of course. So it gives you a lot of options, a mm -hmm. lot of flexibility. It's very cost effective. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the newest addition to our project wall box family. Nice. Uh, so as I say, so you have, all right, so you've got, you've covered things inside the wall. Um, what do you got, as I say, do you well, have things we, onto the table? We, we're gonna get to under table in a minute, but right. we have, a, a, a next iteration of this box. Oh. You know, we've seen collaborative learning spaces really become popular, and one of the things we're finding is instructors like it, AV directors like it, the facilities people are not real happy with huddled tables and huddle spaces. <laughs> it's a single use space, mm -hmm. it takes up a, a pretty significant footprint. Mm -hmm. So, what we've come up with is really collaboration in a box. Okay. And it's an extension of this family right here. It's called the PWB Huddle. It's a wall box that gives you retractable cables inside it, and AC power, space for a switcher. So in these flex spaces, you take a table, you roll it up against the wall, you pull out your cables from the retractor system, plug it in, collaborate. When you're done, let the cables go back up into the wall. Easy and peasy. Easy, simple, cost-effective, provides the flexibility that, that everybody from the AV people 
and oh, yeah. the facilities people oh, all yeah. require. Of course, that's, as I say, that's, that's making things more of a flex space, it's making things more easy for, if you do say active learning, folks like to have mobile setups. They like to just be able to roll in, roll out, set it up. That's perfect. And, and also in the huddle space, we've seen a big demand with products that, that want wireless accessibility, mm -hmm. so you can provide wireless access to your oh, video. Yeah. The issue that a lot of uh, people have, are challenged with is the requirement for additional hardware or software installation. Mm -hmm. So we're introducing a new product called Huddle Air. Mm -hmm. It's a four input scaled switcher. It's got two HDMI inputs, it's got a VGA input, mm -hmm. but it also has a wireless input based on either Mirrorcast or AirPlay. Mm -hmm. So you don't require any additional hardware, mm -hmm. no software installation, Basically, anybody with a modern smart device walks in, two clicks, they're up on the screen. Again, you collaborate. Yep. When you're done, it's very simple. Yep. It's very cost effective. Oh yeah, no, I know. I know from my own experience. Uh, we have newer faculty who look at us and go and say, "I just want to present on my iPad," or "I just, you know, I have this, I have this link on my on my phone. I don't have enough time to put it onto the PC." Here you go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we find, interestingly enough, people are familiar with AirPlay and Mirrorcast mm -hmm. because they're doing picture shows at home in their living room. Yep. So it's something they're familiar with, mm -hmm. something they're used to using, and now we're integrating it mm -hmm. into the AV space. Oh, of course, yeah, especially when you have um, faculty who it's just, I just need it to work. Absolutely. And there you go. It's, and, it's, and that is our target customer for this, for this product. Fair enough. So And, and from there, mm -hmm. One of the last frontiers we see is wire management. And wire That's the management, of my absolutely. And we all know we have table boxes, we have floor boxes, mm -hmm. but how do we get the cabling from the table down to the floor? Mm -hmm. So we've come out with a complete system that we call Wire Marshal. Okay. And Wire Marshal consists of four different pieces. First is an under table channel. Mm -hmm. And that table channel is made out of molded plastic with a rubberized edge. So it gives you the capability of just taking the cabling and slide it right into this channel underneath mm -hmm. the table. It's simple, it's easy, there's no zip ties, there's no crawling around under the table, you just tuck and go. From there, we have a mount that, that goes underneath the table that has wire management. You can take up access cabling, excess cabling around mm -hmm. it. And then the final two pieces are a plastic molded down channel. It's got two compartments for high voltage and low voltage. Mm -hmm. It snaps open, I lay my cabling in it, it snaps shut, and then we have our boot down at the bottom, it's a two-piece molded mm -hmm. uh, section. It links together, it has steel plates in it and Velcro loop in it, so you slide it right down, hook it to the floor, your carpet is space, yep. and now you've got a complete management system for your cabling underneath the table right down to the floor. See, now, I, I, now that's something I can truly appreciate because a number of times the facilities folks and sometimes even the uh, AV or IT folks don't always have a say in the tables. Sometimes this is by you know your interior designers who look and say, oh, we want this to be nice and open and airy. Meanwhile, you know, you and I are looking at this going, okay, how do we get the cables from point A to point B without having the students or the faculty tear it apart as they slide out? Absolutely, and, and we all know how ugly it is to look under a table and see cables hanging around in loops and yeah, zip ties, and you, you we avoid all that. You end up seeing the spaghetti monster, and everyone kind of, all of a sudden it goes from, yes, we're, no, this is a very high-end room, and this and that, you look underneath, and yeah, there's, there's the uh, Gordian knot staring at you in the face. And one last product, mm -hmm. we made a molded piece mm -hmm. that is, you can stick it to a rounded table leg, okay. and it hides the cable, so if you want to use the table leg, you don't want to go down anywhere else underneath the table, yeah, if it someone's... gives you that option. And the interesting thing is, those molded channel legs for the, for the table legs are all over this booth and you wouldn't even know they're here. <laughs> They disappear right into your table. All right, that's as I say, folks. If you check out the FSR booth, that is an Easter egg hunt. Uh, we're not saying rip <laughs> up the carpeting, but that is definitely something to check out. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so if anything, wow, you guys have really uh, delved deep into into the hull space. I, I gotta admit, this is some this is some impressive uh, work, uh, sir. Uh, well, and, and one last product, it, it falls into our huddle space, mm -hmm. but it's interesting, we're seeing because the AV integrator consultant uh, 
they're more involved in the tabletop. They tend to own yeah. the top of the table. Mm -hmm. And we're getting pulled into the device charging business. Mm -hmm. So we've introduced here at the show a product called Huddle Blocks. Ah. And Huddle Blocks is a cube mm -hmm. with integrated AC power, mm -hmm. USB charging, mm -hmm. and wireless charging mm -hmm. based on the Qi charging wiring system, uh, charging system. Mm -hmm. It's a cube, it's 23 inches cubed. We also make a smaller version. Yep. We're finding them very popular in college student unions, yep. in, in reception areas, mm -hmm. in corporate offices, in doctor's offices. Everybody wants to charge their device. So we're providing uh, a block to do that. Yeah. But what's cool about it, a lot of people are using these as tables, as chairs. <laughs> it's really a versatile piece mm -hmm. that provides a lot of different options. Well, for and you. that's the thing, like if, uh, at least once again, coming from the education world, we have, like our students kind of live and die by their mobile devices. And so I can see this where, you know, if we want to increase, you know, say student usage in an area, you end up putting down a couple of huddle blocks what used to be a dead space is all of a sudden, you know, you see the students all all gathering around. Why? Because, hey, look, I can charge my smartphone. I can just drop it down, put it in my book bag over here, look up stuff on my laptop, charge my laptop while I'm at it. And all of a sudden, you know, your students are saying, yeah, this feels more like home. Yeah, I want to be here. And it's, it's, it's... As I say, once again, it's a creature comfort thing, but it's, Absolutely. It, it does aid in, in like the actual use of the space. It, and, and as you say, it adds to the functionality. We, you know how expensive it is to build more square footage. Yes. So yeah. we've got to get as much as we can out of the existing space mm -hmm. that we have. Yeah, no, you guys are definitely finding ways to, to just make use of the huddle space, which everyone always wants, and this is just kind of bringing everything back, but everyone always wants, oh yeah, we just want to have our huddle space. And then they start talking about, well, I just wanted to do this. Oh, I just wanted to do that. But you guys have actually been very proactive in saying, all right, if you're going to do this, if you're going to create the huddle space, let's make space, let's make the proper space and let's make the actual usable area for you guys to do everything you want to do. Because otherwise Absolutely. everyone is just going to go and say, well, I have my phone and I have my tablet. Let's just put it at the end. That's that's not what the, the space is intended for. You want to be able to, to just come in, present your stuff, make a plan, and go. And you guys have, you guys have really and, delved and, into this. And we've really worked with uh, customers like yourself mm -hmm. to build a complete solution so that we can do anything from a simple push-button collaboration yeah. system up to wireless. Yeah, and, and that's the one thing I do, I do have to say with you guys. And folks, once again, if you've dealt with F if you ever deal with FSR, they are always more than willing to help out on things. I know, uh, I, at least from my experience, we had a rather unique situation, and you guys were said, "Yeah, just tell us what you need. We'll we'll work." We're happy the place. to do it. Yeah, they're happy they're they're all about these solutions. So, once again, sir, thank you very much. Thanks, Bill. Thanks yep. for coming by our booth, and Indeed. we welcome everybody to come by yep. and see us here at the show. All right, folks, so if you see them, come by. What's the uh, booth number here at Infocom? It is 3843. 3843, sirs. Come on by.